Imagine shoveling thousands of dead, rotting fish every couple of days. It's what this property owner says he's been doing for the last 11 years. Tedious doesn't even begin to describe what Gary Fout goes through with these gizzard shad. These haven't decomposed as much, but sometimes when you pick them up, they just fall right through the pitchfork. And to see him out here every day, day after day, picking up dead fish. Donna Fout says she has to wash her husband's clothes several times just to get the stench out. I think it's heart-wrenching. And year after year, we say maybe the fish won't come next year. Together, the Fouts own this KOA campground in York County. Unlike other fish kills, they say this one isn't random, it's annual. Before 2001, this did not happen. I can say that because I've been here for 30 years. State agencies say it's because of a lack of oxygen in the Skimino Creek. They just can't pinpoint the exact cause. I know over 16 people in different agencies, and truly I just get the runaround. Nobody claims it as their problem, but nobody can tell me who's responsible for it. State environmental officials told us the responsibility falls back on the fouts because no matter where the fish came from, they ended up on this couple's property. They're not our fish. We can't put up any kind of fence to catch them to make it simplify to pick them up, but nobody will say they'll come get them. The fouts say these dead fish will catch where the branches are in the creek till about July. Until then, they say they'll have to close part of their grounds to protect their campers from this rancid stench. Reporting in York County, David Ham, 13 News.